Hi and welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I am going to teach you how to fix Batman Arkham Knight crashing or not launching. Make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you won't miss an important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So the first fix that you can do is to very uh, is verifying the game files. So verifying your game files is basic troubleshooting step when there is something wrong with your game. So first team, this is how you can verify your game files. So first, just launch the Steam and then right click on your game and select properties and then select the local files. So it is this right here and click the verify integrity of game files button. So Steam will verify the game files. So this process may take several minutes. And the next is for the Epic Games. So if you're using Epic Games, you can just follow the steps right here. So first, just launch the Epic Games and then navigate to your library and click on the three dots. And then once you open, just click Verify in the drop-down navigation. And now you can try launching your game again and play for a while to test the issue. So if Batman Arkham Knight crashing persists, you can try the next fix that I am going to show you, which is to disable third-party graphic tools. So another possible cause of the Batman Arkham Knight crashing is software interference. So you can try disabling unnecessary apps running in the background, especially graphic tools. So software with game overlay features like Discord. So I know there are some incredible mods you can use to drastically improve your game experience. But when your game is crashing, we suggest removing those mods temporarily. Then lastly, what you can do is to stop overclocking. So it's always important to, ha to stay slightly under the safe limit when you're overclocking your PC. Also, it's worth mentioning that not all GPUs and CPUs can be overclocked. So if your Batman Arkham Knight keeps crushing, you should reset them to chipset manufacturer specifications. So sometimes the latest graphics driver may affect the safe limit. So if this issue happens, after a driver update, you can either roll back the driver or stop overclocking. And so that's it for this video and I hope this helped you. And if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit notification bell button so you won't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.